And thank you so much for making the time to quickly catch up with me. We're going to keep it quite short. Nice. Um, I just wanted to talk about this sticky tape on the floor thing as uh, we discussed. Okay. Um, so what I'd like to do is let's get in there and last part of the call I just want to talk about the uh, wonderful four days we had behind us with the Falman event. Uh, but we can cover that off in a minute. Let's see how we can help people. Uh, my aim is to create this content so that people uh, that have this challenge of sticky tape on the floor and I've got a little sample here, can uh, easily uh, find a way under how to resolve that uh, challenge for themselves. Um, so I have a few questions here. And also before we spoke about arranging this, you mentioned something really interesting about what caused this uh, problem really, because uh, wood floors, of course, I've got to finish on them. And this sticky tape will naturally break that down somehow. So can you tell me a bit more what caused the problem really? Yeah, inside, um, the problem is that uh, a wood floor lacquer, which is what a lot of wood floors are coated with, is a film forming uh, protection. Yes. And it's effectively um, plastic. It doesn't look like it. It's very natural. It's very flexible. It's got lots of really strong properties. But because it's a, a plastic based PU or acrylic based product, yes. um, if you put something on, on top of that that has plasticizers inside it, uh, i.e. pretty much every adhesive known to man. Uh -huh. um, and the problem is almost immediately that the plasticizers in the adhesive start to break down the coating. I see. Almost immediately. And because uh, with uh, tapes on floors particularly, they've been down there for a little bit of time, and they have very high grab. You know, that's yeah. what the tape does, isn't it? It's designed to stick things down. The problem is the moment you start to lift that, and it happens every single time without fail, sadly, mm -hmm. coating comes off with it. Yes. There isn't a coat, a, a PU type coating, not a two pack, not a one pack, not anything mm -hmm. that will be able to cope with. With that type uh, of uh, exposure. Any sort that? of tape, yeah. There are, there's occasionally um, tapes that have a really low or zero plasticizer content, uh -huh. and then they're all right. So in some cases it can work, but I guess in the cases oh. where a low tack, um, what I mean by work, in, in some cases you don't have severe damage, but even in those cases you will probably have some damage that's not initially visible. And I guess the ones that cause the least type of damage to the floor will be the ones that actually don't stick to the floor very well in the first place. I would say that that's the case. I think it's a rule of thumb that uh, tape, sticky tape of any sort and wood floor lacquer is shouldn't be used together. It shouldn't be used just, together. No, it's, it's, um, it's clear to us as a manufacturer and every other manufacturer in the world of these things that that is the case. We state it very clearly in, in our five steps guides. Yes. So the fundamental of this is that you, your clients shouldn't be putting that tape on the floor. And, it, and regrettably, it, with a lacquered surface, there's no remedy. Yes. Because what you have to do is you have to sand the floor back. Very often with a lacquered floor, as you know, yeah, uh, it's great. It's stronger. It's got the coating on it. Um, but to try and patch it back in again to repair yeah. a bit of tape damage, for example, is a really difficult thing to do aesthetically. Yeah. You can provide the protection again, but you will never get the look back that you that's have. Right. It will always look like something's been coated over the top. And that's what I found as well. Very few people realize that a surface build finish cannot be repaired in a localized area on a floor. If you really want to make it look totally invisible, you need to sand the whole floor back and start again. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, no matter Otherwise, it stands out like it's all done. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it, a lot of things, I mean, even if you did it where it was very fresh, when it happened within the, just after the curing period. Yes. Uh, it, it, it would still show as a different area because it's impossible to get that really thin yes. um, coating to be exact That's in right. a small area. And of course, with time, a wood floor changes color, it changes dimensions, yeah. and things like that, it's naturally with light. So you would always have what looked like a patch in surface. You can renew the protection, yeah, no problem, because That's you right. can over, over the top of it, but you will never get that look. Get that little good. transition totally gone. Um, let me have a look at a few questions here. Um, then what would you say is best if we now have a floor with sticky tape on? What would be the safest way to get it off? Considering that we now accept that it will probably cause damage to the to the to the uh, to the finish on the floor. 
for you. I, I honestly, I, this is a massive problem. I haven't got an answer to that because yeah. no easy way of doing it. A tape is designed to stick. Yeah, that's right. And, yeah. and obviously, the, the only thing you could say is, the more gentle you are with that, uh -huh. then the better it would be. And you could say, oh, maybe I should use a steam cleaner, and yeah. that would melt the adhesive on the back, and that would be fine. But that would also have a detrimental effect to the coating. Of course, yeah. So this doesn't stack up well. Yeah, um, no, of course what, it doesn't. <laughs> what's a better, what's a, sorry to say, but it's that's a fact of life. So it's a really important when people are selling wood floors to people, even pre-finished ones, which have gone through a, a UV curing process. Yeah. But, um, you know, this is likely to happen sooner rather than later that you will cause damage. So you mustn't use tape or, and for that matter, you shouldn't use other things with plasticizers in them. That's right. So you very often find um, in car showrooms that have got wood flooring down that the plasticizers in car tires will do that. Or a it rubber doormat. Marks. Yes, yes, yes. Rubber, yes. rubber doormat. Tiles, the same ceramic thing. tiles, yeah, it does leave marks. That's right. Yeah. And, and even sometimes, um, you know, a rug with the wrong sort of backing yeah. could have that also problem. Marked, yes. So just be very careful. And if you're not sure about things, take, you know, good advice from somebody like yourself. Yes. Or, you know, and then you can refer to us if it's something oh, we can yes. try. Um, it's better to solve it. And from what we just said, it's better to solve the problem by not doing it. Yeah, that's and right, that, if you can at all yeah. avoid it. Um, uh, Pelman, of course, do two cleaners, Mike. They do the Pelman Clean Strong and Pelman Clean. Um, yes. If I have now gone ahead and I've removed this tape, but there's a little bit of stickiness left from the tape, can I use any of those two products to clean that off? No. Yeah, the problem is that the stickiness, you, the, the tape <laughs> won't leave any stickiness because it's taken the lacquer off. Yes. So the, what's, the residue isn't sticky. The residue is... Well, it's not a residue, it's actually the coating it's that's come off. finish that has now started softening. Yeah, and, it's, and it comes off. So, yeah, there's no way to clean that off. So, see. So even if I do think, well, let's go ahead and clean that off, in six months' time, that area is just going to look really deteriorated, and unfortunately, you would need to go down sanding the floor and refinishing it. If you wanted to, to restore oh, the aesthetic. To restore the aesthetic. aesthetic look, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, now let's talk about restoration quickly and I want to touch on the oils and we do a lot of your very nice Pelman magic oil um, and then of course we also use the Pelman 98 or Pelman 96 lacquers, mm -hmm. that's the surface build finish. Um, we said earlier that with lacquer it can't really be repaired but the oil is a little different. Yeah, and I think that's a valid point in the circumstances you're talking about. We still say, even with magic oil, well, let me explain what magic oil is a little bit. That probably helps, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, is that whereas a, uh, a lacquer is a film forming protection. So uh, in an ideal world, it builds up um, yes. very thin layers, three or four very thin layers to form a film, which is about 100 microns, microns thick, which yes. isn't much thicker than a human hair. Nevertheless, it no. gives the all the protection it needs. The other option is to take uh, a protection for your floor, which actually penetrates into the wood, so it protects yeah. from within the wood rather than on top of the wood. And in those circumstances, of course, if you put tape down, then you're not removing a surface layer, right? It's not breaking yeah, down a surface right, layer. Yes. Coating. So it will still have an effect on our oil system, uh -huh. but it won't have as significant an effect. And as you know from your experience, you know, as a very experienced wood floor renovation contractor as well as uh, a retailer, um, um, it's much easier to patch in an oil floor than it yes. is a, yes. a, a, yes. a lacquer floor. So you get, you know, you can A, yes, you can recover the protection, that's a problem with lacquer or oil, but the aesthetic can be restored very easily with an oil floor. That's right. Um, particularly as our oils are cross-linked. So mm -hmm. what that means is that at the surface when it dries, Fine. That's why we have no solvent in any of our oils at all. It's just, yeah. well, most of our oils. Um, it's just zero VOC. It's great for the environment. It's great for the household. It's great for you because you can get onto the job site and hand it back to the client really quickly. It's great because you can patch it back in again. Um, but it cross-links at the surface. So it's okay. really strong at the surface. Yeah. And you would say, you know, in use, as strong as a lacquered floor. Pretty well. It just looks a little bit different because you've got no build, it doesn't look as coated, so it doesn't have a right. semi-gloss or a gloss finish to it, which is what people expect with an oil. It has a, a, a flatter European look, if you like, 
that's the way it's designed to be. But rest assured, if you've done your job properly, there's no reason why any customers of art of clean or art of flooring shouldn't have the job to properly because you're one of our parky pro fake contractors, right, which yeah. is, yeah. you know, you do things properly. Um, uh, there's no reason at all why you couldn't, um, you know, go in, pass that up. And the oil is always in the wood. It's yeah. still there to be just restored. So it's back up again and restored. Although in a case where the tape has been stuck to the floor for an extended period of time and the floor was oiled before, there's a risk that we will still see the mark. And if we don't see it, there's even a risk that the damage is not visible at that stage. But with the oiled finish, we can key that area back and sand it carefully, reapply the oil, and within weeks it should blend back in if we use a yeah. natural colored oil. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of those things. So that's much less intrusive for the for the for the for the place because we don't have to move all the furniture out of the way and sand off yep. and re-lacquer it. So the yep. oil brings with it a nice uh, feature of repairability. Um, yes. So that's wonderful, Mike. That's what I want to discuss. Let me just see. Uh, um, we talked about the cleaners, then of course, and we need to realize, as you said, that the cleaners are to clean the floor. But unfortunately, things like this and leaving a soft, sticky surface. It's not necessarily the glue from this end that is removed, it's rather the lacquer that's now broken down and became sticky. Yeah, and yeah. that way, even any cleaner, no matter how good they are, ain't gonna necessarily remove that problem. And if we right. don't see that problem initially, and we think, oh, we're out of, out of here without any trouble to the floor, six months later, we might look at that area and see, oh, there's the patches where the floor was, uh, the tape was stuck to the floor. I think you'll see it immediately, Pierre. I think you will immediately see that this has removed the coating from the pond. Yes, yes. Um, and it's such an aggressive thing, particularly the, the really strong gaffer type tape yes. types. Yeah. Uh, without naming a brand name, you know the ones that we're talking about. Yeah. They are really strong, you know, and, that, and they guarantee that's going to lift it, even if it's only down for two or three minutes. That's exactly if, right. Yeah. So I think if, if every time you, you, you or your customers pick up a roll of gaffer tape, a big alarm bell she brings to me. Alarm bell? No, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> well, Mike, thank you so much for your quick tip there and a bit of advice on what uh, what we we would need to prepare the end user for if there's tape on the floor and there's marks, yeah. then unfortunately well, it's repaired. Well, best thing to do is always advise your client, which I know you do, Pierre, yes. that really you know fits protection on the chair legs and table legs and things yeah. like that. Um, fit and replace entrance matting from one area to another area, particularly from outside a gravel drive or you know, a wet garden into a, mm -hmm. onto a, wet, a, a wood floor. Uh, but definitely, definitely don't use, don't use tape. Tape if you can, yeah, of course. Mike, thank you so much. And you know what, it's wonderful to work with a supplier like Pellman because the people there and the support we get is the reason why we only go for Pelman and we love it. So thanks so much for helping us add value to our end users and our customers and clients. We really appreciate it.